Hey everyone, it's me, Xcadadensis, and today we're gonna to be doing some restyle. So the dolls that we're gonna be using in this video are the following. These were all ones that I just asked Brett to come in here and pick out ones from my need to be unboxed pile, and these are who he picked. So Sabrina, who I got for $13 from Walmart on Black Friday, and I'm really excited about her because I did not at all connect to my other Sabrina because I can't stand her hairstyle. That's my assumption as to why, because I've seen other people's hairstyles and they look great. Um, so Sabrina's the first one. And then the second one, I might have influenced him a lot to pick this one, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's Tessa. You guys know how I feel about Tessa. Like, y'all know. She's my favorite. <laughs> so I'm really excited to figure out a new hairstyle for her because my other one, like, has just stayed the way she is, and I'd like to experiment a little bit more with this one, so Tessa. And then the last one is going to be Ainsley. I was surprised by this one, but his logic was that he wanted the other outfits to be freed up, and I was like, thank you for that, because I might want to use them on these restyles. Also, this Ainsley has some misprinted eyeliner, but it's really pretty, actually, because it makes her, like, have really intense bottom eyeliner you see that so I'm gonna clean that side up a little bit I'll show you guys how I do that and then we'll continue from there anyway let's get started so first we need to unbox all these dolls the narrative flow of this video I just thought I would show myself unboxing them I guess I don't know I think I also uh, get all their clothes off in this step but I don't 100% remember actually I think I do it later uh but yeah new dolls now just for fun i wanted to take a look at these dolls versus the dolls that i already have in my collection so here's our two ainsley's interestingly so this is my original one i got her right when ainsley came out this one has a substantially shinier face um much more akin to series one which is very bizarre she also has more solid eyebrows seemingly but it might just be that shine on the face that's distracting me and then of course the bottom eyeliner but i really do think that that is just a misprint but you'll see too that this is much more vibrant than the makeup on this Ainsley very interesting um I'd have to see this doll when she's not misplaced to see how she looks but I'm really ooh, look she's got like a paint smear over here too um but I'm just gonna wipe that down so it is more similar to the other side so that she's just like a really cool more like dark makeup looking one I'm really excited about this one actually I think she's gonna look super cool I know I don't normally buy a misprint but like that one she was I think around $15 and came with all those extra outfits and I was really excited about that interesting variation and like if I do it without the light it looks a little bit more even I don't know I'm gonna even it out I'm excited we'll see I might end up hating it and then over here we have the new Tessa that I just got. This one was from an Amazon sale. She was $20, and Tessa's my favorite. I, I really wanted to get her. And her skin tone is different. Like, check it out without that light, too. Her face is, like, redder. It's very interesting. And then, um, I'm not seeing, like, super major differences other than that. Um, but you can definitely see that the makeup is applied differently than mine, and mine is a first release. I got her basically immediately. Pretty cool. And I just like to show this in case any of you guys like to see variants as much as I do. And when I restyle, it's going to be harder to, like, compare them. Lips are a lot shinier on this one, too. And then Sabrina's. So this is the new Sabrina. I took the barrettes out because they fall out <laughs> very easily. And then this is my old Sabrina. You can see that this one, and I did order this one online, has super messy lips. So I'll probably fix that with the acetone when we work on Ainsley's face. I'm not sure yet. And... I'm not seeing super major differences, but they definitely have different looks to their faces. Like, on camera, to me, she looks like she has a different sculpt. I don't think she does, but very interesting. So, yeah, those are the dolls that are going to be used for this video. So now I need to remove all their clothes, and we'll start with a clean slate. And I'm very excited. I need to go find my acetone so we can work on the facial defects first. All right, so everyone's assembled. And unusually, I'm not going to be doing a bunch of eye swaps. I love doing eye swaps. I know people absolutely hate them. I personally actually really like doing them. I want to leave these two alone. I don't know. For now, I might change my mind. But for now, I think they'll be fine the way they are. But I have to take the eyes out of this one anyway because um, acetone can damage eyes, if you didn't know that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is an eye swap on Tessa. And I did some really crude edits to see if I liked cool brown or warm brown better, or even green. And I have settled on warm brown. So this Mina's gonna be sacrificing her eyes because there's a dent right there in her forehead. And that's kind of driving me nuts. And I don't know how to cut bangs yet. And 
I don't have plans for a custom with Mina right now, but I might eventually. So don't worry, like she'll get eyes back. I just don't have a lot. I don't have any extra brown eyes right now. Um, but anyway, yeah, I kind of want to do like a dark green eye on Amina, but I don't know. We'll see. I would probably just give her brown eyes back. I just, I hope they do more brown eye shades at some point because I really want to experiment more with that. Um, but yeah, I was gonna, that's why Nicole's over here. I was kind of going to do her, but her eyes are probably going to Aisha. Like I really want to do an Aisha eye swap with those cool brown eyes. Um, just cause... I think they would look really good on her, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get started. I'm excited. I'm really just stalling. <laughs> All right, my friends, let's see how much we can do with our first batch of boiling water. So here we go. I use the boiling water. You can also use a hair dryer, but in my experience, dry heat is a lot more dangerous to use on plastic things than wet heat. Wet heat generally will not melt anything. Although you do want to be careful with metallic nylon hair, which coincidentally, I believe all of these have. She might not have metallic nylon, we'll see. Um, but anyway. Let's get started. So stick them in. Don't touch their plastic directly to the metal on the pot. That's just not a good idea. And the, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to soften up the neck peg or the plug, the head in general, so that I can just like get the head right off. And then um, I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself doing this. Don't do this if you don't feel fully capable. Also, my rabbits live in here now, so excuse the noise. <laughs> it's cold out, so we wanted to bring them in. Anyway, let's Use that and then get Ainsley out of here. And this is also actually gonna help get all the gel out of her hair. So kind of a double whammy there. Anyway, then I use the towel to kind of cover my hand and just work her head off of here. Very, very easy to do this part. And then I should be able to pop the eyes out too while we're here, just being careful not to burn my hands. Sorry, I wanted to re-soak the head just a little bit and we <laughs> pop the eye the rest of the way out. As you can see, it's already mostly out anyway. <laughs> Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Anyway, let's pop it out of there. I'm having so much trouble this time. Usually popping the eyes out is super quick and easy, so it's kind of funny. It's taking this long. There we go. That one's out. And then this one. You can usually, like, work it out and then pop it out the rest of the way by just... There we go, get your finger out of there. And there we go, so now she's ready. I'm missing the clip of me taking Mina and Tessa's eyes out. It was a time lapse, I'm sorry about that, but here I am putting them back in. Tessa's head is pretty hard to do, so if you can do Tessa's, you can do any. Hello, my friends. Um, it's been a while since the last update. I did not have acetone no polish remover. I actually had non-acetone. Um, I have acetone, I just don't know where it is. So I had to go get more on Christmas Eve, so that was fun. Um, also, we woke up this morning and the house was like unbelievably cold. It was like 40 degrees in the house, which was great. Um, we figured out how to turn on the heater, so we're good now. Um, well, it's it's really cold actually. What is it, 56? 59. 59, so we're getting to like livable temperature and that's kind of why I haven't done anything yet. But anyway, so my plans right now, I might regret this, but I'm going to be pulling her bangs out um, not because I don't think I can fix them. That is part of it, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I actually really want to see what she looks like without bangs, because I've never done a bang removal on a doll before. And then also, now that we have acetone, we can deal with this. So, um, she has some smudging here. I don't even know where that came from. Probably from the scalp pain, if I had to guess. And then also, I want to fix this. And that's why we took her eyes out. I'm gonna be putting her eyes back in, because, I don't know, I want this to actually still be Ainsley. Now, the difficulty with this is that she has shine on her face and the acetone will remove the shine, um, which is stressful because I don't want to remove the shine necessarily. I mean, ideally she wouldn't have all that shine because I'm just not a big fan. Oh, I don't have any toothpicks. I probably could have bought those earlier, but I didn't. Um, so I didn't have them at the convenience store and no way I'm going to Walmart on Christmas Eve. Absolutely not. Um, anyway, so this is from CVS and it says, acetone as the first ingredient. So that's what we want. Um, and I cut this into a point so that I can get more precision work in. And then you just kind of dip it in here, get some acetone on there. Don't get it on your hands. It like really dries them out and it's already cold out. So my hands are already getting pretty dry anyway. So. All right, my friends, we have several orders of business now. Everybody's hair is washed. There's no more gel, which is great. Um, but we still have to put Tessa and Ainsley's bodies or heads back on their bodies. And then we also have to put Ainsley's eyes back in. I actually just put her eyes back in and I did it really quickly. So that's why I'm doing this in real time now because I want to like show you. Now this particular face sculpt, easy mode. Any of these ones with the really wide eyes, super easy mode. Oh, and also the reason I put the eyes in and then I took them out again is because I messed up doing the acetone part because I always do. 
Um, for some reason, maybe I just didn't get, oh, wrong way. I didn't get um, strong enough acetone is probably what happened. Um, I need to get like pure acetone, but it's Christmas Eve. Like what was I supposed to do? Um, do, 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 do. It's in. I'm just so good at this, you know? Um, so anyway, I'm gonna use a watercolor pencil. I don't have any black ones cause I always lose those first because that's like the main one that I use every, oh, look at that. So quick. Um, but again, this is easy mode, but I also just did hard mode because Tessa was very difficult. All right, so we are working on Tessa's bangs as well as Ainsley um, getting that other eye in. It's really tricky to get the eyes out if the head isn't as squishy as possible, even on easy mode with the original face sculpt. Um, you need the head to be super, super squishy, and I think that's the biggest thing. I have a tutorial on how to do this that I'll link in the description that I think is actually a really good one. Um, it's just my method of how to do it, and I very rarely mess up my dolls. Like the, I've only done it once where I messed up the eyelashes on one eye on one doll, so I, I'm fairly confident in my methods. Anyway, and then I'm painting Ainsley's face, which was pretty nerve-wracking, but then I got carried away and kept going, which is scary because I've never done this before. The most I've done is like a little bit of eyeshadow, and you can see I got a little bit too carried away and the little heart freckles that I did weren't really super even but look how much fun I had and that's important oh and then I went crazy and I started doing the lips I don't know when that's gonna happen but yeah oh look there's little freckles and I, look there's the lips I was like wait I kind of went to do a lip liner but then I messed up and they weren't really like lining them very well so I just filled it in and it looked good in my opinion hi friends so I got carried away and I'm terrified to mess this up but look I'm always so terrified to paint is this perfect absolutely not but I think it looks cool. So this is my first like repaint. I mean, this isn't a repaint, right? Like I just painted over the lips and added freckles, but, oh, and I did a little like the eyebrow piercing. I don't know. I just, I was doing the eye makeup and then I was like, wait, I want to add a little heart. And then I was like, wait, I want to do heart freckles. And it just kept happening. And then I was like, ooh, what if I do black lips? And I've never been able to do a lip repaint. That's the specific thing that's always scared me. But look, it actually looks kind of cute. Um, so I'm just gonna go with that. I need to dry the hair now. I just can't get it wet ever again <laughs> until I find Mr. Super Clear, but it's not the season to use that. And then I've created Tiara. I'm kidding. Um, but I got a lot of, oh, sorry, the angle's stupid. Also, I'm in my kitchen. That's why the toaster's there. Um, someone pointed out before I even removed the bangs that I kind of just made Tiara. Shut up. No, I'm kidding. Um, we'll see. It's still Tessa, so I prefer her, but it's kind of funny that I did that. And then, you know, Sabrina's just been waiting. She had her hair washed. Um, all of them still have pretty wet hair. Ooh. Sorry, um, that's from the bang removal. Oh, and Tessa had one issue in her rooting right there. So, eh, I don't really care that much, but something to point out. That's something, if you're planning to do a bang removal on a doll. Also, I'm an idiot. I've literally done a bang removal before on Lily Chang. So, <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. I think her bangs must have been rooted in differently, or maybe I'm just, I just don't remember doing it. Um, but before you do a bang removal, pull the bangs back and check that the hairline is good, because if the hairline isn't good, leave those bangs in and get a different doll. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to put them all in front of the fan to dry their hair, and then we'll do some hairstyling. I'm excited. I still need to, so I scrolled through my For You page for like three hours earlier, because normally I end up on TikTok, I get like hairstyling videos because I save them pretty often. But I'm not getting those, so um, I gotta keep doing it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my saves and like a bunch of hairstyling videos and then turn off the app and then return and then hopefully they'll pop up, but I don't know. We'll see. They're still gonna be inspired by TikTok, but I don't know if it's gonna be like literally TikTok uh, decides. I don't know. You'll see from the title. You'll see. Um, but anyway, look how cool Ainsley looks. I'm like actually in shock. It's so cool. Well, because I've been looking at my one custom that I ever did any sort of repaint on, which I did. I filled in a Crystal Dolls um, eyeshadow up here with like a really pretty cyan blue color. No, it was more like a Robin's egg. And then I gave her like glittery paint to be like kind of like freckles because she was going to be like a de decor kawaii look, but then I didn't have the right clothes to do that. But anyway, this Ainsley's going to look so cool. I'm excited. It really helps emphasize her really amazing makeup. Anyway, that's that. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, so I know I said I was done, but I just thought the hearts were like too much and I couldn't get them perfectly even. So I got rid of them. So this is where we're at. Put the freckles back though. I don't know, I just wanna try something. And then the, the lips aren't exactly like even. So I'm gonna try a little bit harder to fix them, but I think this looks pretty good. I also gave her freckles there 
Um, I, I think I'm gonna put a turtleneck on her, but if I don't, that'll be kind of cool. And I know real freckles aren't this color, obviously I have them. I'm a freckled individual. Ah! Um, but you know, it's like a trend right now to give yourself like hilariously fake looking freckles. Um, at least it's something I've noticed on TikTok. So I think it works, I think it fits. And I don't know, I think it's gonna look cool. So I'm excited about it. And I'm gonna try to fix the lips a little bit more off camera and then pop her in front of the fan to dry. All right, y'all, so <laughs> I'm incompetent. I can't do hairstyles, I don't know what it is. Um, so the initial concept for this video, just so you know, was going to be like, so there's gonna be some weird editing in some parts, but I was gonna do TikTok hairstyles, but I can't get them to be executed properly on the dolls. Like I do them and I'm actually impressed with myself because I do them correctly, but I can't get them to actually turn out properly on dolls. So, I mean, I'm going to use the inspiration from all of the tutorials I've been attempting for the past four hours and just create something of my own, and we're going to call it a day there. So here's some plans. Ainsley, I want, like, little baby buns on her head that are kind of, like, I don't know what, but maybe, like, they flare out, um, and then the rest of the hair is down because she has, like, really long, interestingly textured hair. So, yeah, that's what I want for her. And then for Sabrina... I really want to do something with like a crown braid and have some like hair in the front. Kind of, that's what I was attempting here. This was supposed to be like some kind of crown braid, but it's not working. And I'm annoyed. So the tutorial I used failed for me. And then um, Tessa, <laughs> this was supposed to be, I don't 100% know how to explain, but I wanted like big pigtails that kind of stood up like this, which I actually did quite well. They kind of droop, but you know, I did those. Um, and then I pulled some hair forward to like be in the front and then I was trying to do those horns that Nira has because there was extra hair hanging out and I didn't know what to do with it. But then there was all this extra hair. I don't know. This is a disaster. So we're going to be taking this down and starting over. So, um, yeah, now I'm just, just going to do some hair on my dolls. We're going to, we're going to restyle my dolls normally. So, but I can't get them to be executed properly on the dolls. Like I do them and I'm actually impressed with myself because I do them correctly, but I can't get them to actually turn out properly on dolls. So, I mean, I'm going to use the inspiration from all of the tutorials I've been attempting for the past four hours and just create something of my own. And we're going to call it a day there. So here's some plans. Ainsley, I want like little baby buns on her head that are kind of like, I don't know what, but maybe like they flare out um, and then the rest of the hair is down because she has like really long, interestingly textured hair. So yeah, that's what I want for her. And then for Sabrina, I really want to do something with like a crown braid and have some like hair in the front. Kind of, that's what I was attempting here. This was supposed to be like some kind of crown braid, but it's not working and I'm annoyed. So the tutorial I used failed for me. And then um, Tessa, <laughs> this was supposed to be, I don't 100% know how to explain, but I wanted like big, pigtails that kind of stood up like this which I actually did quite well they kind of droop but you know I did those um and then I pulled some hair forward to like be in the front and then I was trying to do those horns that Nira has because there was extra hair hanging out and I didn't know what to do with it but then there was all this extra hair I don't know this is a disaster so we're gonna be taking this down and starting over so um yeah now I'm just, just gonna do some hair on my dolls we're gonna we're gonna restyle my dolls normally so this video, this part of this video, I almost cried like three times. I was stuck in this room. It was freezing in here and none of the dolls were cooperating with me. I mean, it's just that I don't know how to style doll hair. Um, I, for context, I never really did my hair as a kid. My head's really sensitive. So anytime I like my mom or I tried to touch my hair, it would just hurt and be, I would be miserable. So um, I never really got practice with this sort of thing. And I really want to get good at it now because I really enjoy restyling my dolls, but it's something that takes a lot of frustration like it's hard for me to even do a basic ponytail but i'm really satisfied with what i managed to do with these dolls i think they turned out pretty it's cute actually getting close to a livable temperature in here just so you know you want an update so at least my christmas will hopefully be warm anyway um so this is how tessa's looking i fixed it i i really wanted this hairstyle so i decided to completely redo it and it doesn't look as good as the first time and then i left these little things out but and i uh, one side, like on the front though, looks pretty good, but on the back, but it's fine. Um, and then the hair became curly from the last hairstyle, but it's okay. I just need to trim the bottoms now because I pulled a lot of hairs loose, but um, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Like, I'm done. And then Sabrina, I kept it really simple. I did, so this crown braid, 
is not actually a crumb braid. I stole this from Monster High Cupid. Um, when I restyled her hair, I noticed that, well, not like restyled, literally put it back in the style she came in. I noticed that they took a little bit of hair from here, braided it like normal, and then just pulled it over and then stuck it to another hair over here. So that's what I did. And then I put that into a half up, half down thing. One thing about me, consistent. You will get a half up, half down, and you will get some kind of mini ponytails. In fact, I did that on Ainsley's hair and I loved it, but then I was like, okay, we're not gonna do the mini ponytails again. I do it every single time. Um, so I brush out her hair again. And yes, I do believe the texture that the hair is exhibiting at the bottom is because I fried it. But personally, I like that texture and I've said this before, again, I'm consistent. So what I wanna do with her is I want little mini buns, but I can't figure out how to do that. <laughs> and it's gonna turn into those mini ponytails. <laughs> so I'm gonna try one more time to do little mini buns. The way I think I'm gonna execute it is the Believe Explorer hairstyle from Jack's Pacific. I can do that hairstyle. I know I can, I've done it on my own hair before even, which is crazy, I never style my own hair. Like the most I can do is put it in a ponytail and even then I end up ripping a bunch of my hair out and crying, so. Anyway, look how cute. I actually really like her. I've never painted a doll this much and not wanted to throw her out the window, so not bad. Anyway, um, it's time. Whoosh. So for the record, you can see Ainsley's hair is a lot more voluminous than it is intended to be in the packaging. I actually like this. I, I like when doll hair has more texture than usual, but just so you know, I did mess up the hair. Um, that's why you don't use super hot water on dolls with metallic nylon, just so you know. Um, but no big deal for me. Anyway, this looks I stupid. I managed to recreate the hairstyle. But the original doll comes with polypropylene hair and like the doll that I'm thinking of. This is nylon and it's like really high quality thick nylon. So I don't think this was meant to be. It looks really goofy. Like if I was doing some kind of fairy look, I think I could make this work. But even like, I don't know. They just stick up off the head too much, I think. Oh, wait, wait. When I wrap the hair around it, it makes it look better. Wait. I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. I couldn't get this to look natural. I don't know. I need like baby bobby pins for dolls, but I've looked into that before. And I mean like tiny ones. I think I just need to custom make them because the ones that I found online were like ludicrously expensive. Like more than a dollar per little baby bobby pin. And that is just not sustainable. Anyway, I did the most basic hairstyle ever. All right, so now we're doing the redresses. So the reason I haven't been doing a lot of restyles recently, other than that they end up really stressing me out, they're really fun and I end up really happy at the end, but often I have a lot of trouble during. I'll get into it a little bit more. Um, but since I've moved all of my Rainbow High clothing, the ones that I've opened in this house are in one place. The ones that were really nice and organized from my old house are in another place. And then the ones that I opened like at a different point in time in this house or in another place so it's kind of frustrating but i took the effort of combining those locations so i got to use almost all my rainbow high clothes one of my one of them is um at the top of the closet i couldn't get to it right now but uh we're working on it we are working on it that's my goal for this break is to get all my doll stuff situated i don't know you'll, you'll see you'll see um, if I even bother to show that part. Anyway, so I'm doing restyles. I probably went to the other room to go get something <laughs> for that part. I was having some trouble. I I came up with Sabrina's pretty quickly, but with the other two, I was like, I don't know. Uh, the main thing was the skirt for Ainsley, but I figured it out because most skirts had gold on them, the black skirts with gold on them, which was really irritating. All right, y'all. This is it. After the longest and most stressful restyle I've ever done, three, in fact, three, well, two really long and stressful ones. One of them was pretty simple. Um, I am here to present to you Tessa, Sabrina, and Ainsley. So first, let's bring over the main Tessa, Sabrina, and Ainsley for my collection. So these are the ones that, you know, I didn't change them that much. They're just on display in some, like, minorly restyled form. Usually just the second outfit. Um, because when I do my reviews, they always end off on a certain outfit. And then I'm like, oh, you look cute in that. And then I just leave them in that. Um, so that's why I really like playing around with full-on restyles. So anyway, as you guys know, Tessa is one of my all-time favorite Rainbow High dolls, and this was my first Tessa. She's my muse. I carry her around all the time. She's pretty messy because of it. And I'm really excited to have another Tessa that I've played around with a bit. And for reasons that I will explain in a bit, Tiara is here too. Okay, let's get started. So first, the least interesting i mean she's really really cute though sabrina so sabrina 
I have trouble connecting with because I'm not just I'm just not into this hairstyle. It like looks greasy. It doesn't sit right. It covers up her cute edges. So I wanted to still play around with the middle part that she has, but bring some hair down to have that like carefree type of look to it. I don't know. I feel like she's very like, I don't know aesthetic words for fashion. I'm sorry, but like, it's kind of like springtime. It's pretty, I don't know. She's just like a pretty girl. Similar to when I did my Uma restyle. That's kind of what I was going for. I just wanted her to be like pretty. And then I wasn't going to use Delilah's pants actually, but then I saw them and I was like, oh, they're perfect. And then I just hate the way that they're like cut out here. So I put the socks on to try to cover that up. The socks on Georgia shoes. I don't know. Everything came together really nicely on this one. I think it's probably pretty lazy to do Georgia pieces on Sabrina, but I don't care. This is a restyle for me, and I think she looks really adorable, and I'm really happy with how she turned out. And I also think that this really brings out those pretty green eyes, and I can definitely say that I've connected a lot more with Sabrina through this process, which is great. So the hairstyle is super simple. I was going to do really advanced hairstyles, but I could not. I just couldn't do it. Also, um, Sabrina's hair is, like, really reflective, so sorry it's not playing nice with the camera, but... Um, I gave up. So I did this little subtle crown braid thing. It's really just a braid that I pulled over here and then pulled to the back. That's it. Um, it's not a French braid of any kind. I don't know how to do a French braid or a waterfall braid or whatever you would call it. Um, and then I pulled it into a half up, half down. I just like a half half up, half down. I like the volume that it provides up here. I just think it looks really nice. I don't know. Um, I like doing it on my hair too. Well, not usually a half up, half down on my hair, but I don't know, something like that. Oh my gosh, are you missing glitter on one side? That is so weird. Look. I didn't notice that before. Well, that's why there's some hair covering that area. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. I can fix that. I can just put new glitter on. I didn't even notice that until just now. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, but here's the full body. I really wanted to do like a white fur coat, but um, I didn't want it to be too similar to her. I didn't want them to be wearing like mostly their own pieces. I felt like that kind of defeated the purpose. Sometimes I do that with restyles though. All right, then we're going to do Ainsley. This is the one with the biggest change and the most like I don't know, out there, I guess. Here's Ainsley. So what happened here is that this Ainsley, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, needed a partial face repaint, I guess. I wasn't going to do a repaint, though. I was just going to use some acetone. I'm actually going to turn off the light for them. Uh, I was just going to use some acetone to clean it up a little bit, but I couldn't manage. It just wasn't working out. So I decided to, after I messed it up with the acetone, I decided to bust out the paint and try to fix it. But then I got carried away. I was like, ooh, I usually can't paint, but it's actually going quite well right now. So I just kept going. And at first I was going to do like heart freckles, but then they start, they looked a little goofy and I couldn't get them even on both sides. But um, ooh, I also gave her chest freckles, so that's why I did this, like, crop top. And then she's got a bit of tummy out. I did the- I don't remember where this piece came from. But it looks really cool if you, like, do it over the jacket. And then she's wearing- I think this is Emmy's skirt. Mara's jacket. I don't know. I wanted to bring out the pink in her makeup. Because I- I don't know. She has a purple color scheme, but I didn't really like how the purple ended up looking with the outfit. And then I just used Mara's shoes, too. Uh, it was weird to use Mara's pieces because I haven't reviewed Mara yet. I opened her in a live stream. And I actually have another Mara. She just came in the mail. She was either taken off my porch or the delivery driver delivered her to the wrong house. But she arrived back at my door a few hours ago. So I'm very happy because I was so heartbroken that my Mara was gone. So, uh, but yeah, this looks like a completely different doll. I mean, she already did because this is a pretty distinct variant to this one. Um, she has like way shinier skin and stuff. But this is pretty cool. This is the doll that looks the least like the original, which is quite nice. I think that's pretty fun. All right, last... It's certainly not least. I mean, I probably should have shown um, Ainsley last, but anyway, I want to show Tessa. You guys know Tessa's my favorite. I love Tessa. So anyway, this is my Tessa restyle. Now, some things have changed since the last time you saw her, um, even in that last time lapse. I decided that I couldn't get that hairstyle to look right, and I was having... I don't know. I liked this better, the way it, like, makes that C-shape and comes straight down and, like, is very voluminous in the back. So I decided to just stick with a traditional, like pigtails situation and then I have these little wispies coming down I didn't want them to be like ringlets I usually do but I'm trying to do things that are different so I decided to just have them like a little bit wavy and I really like how that looked the way I achieved this by the way is that I just used that LOL surprise mousse that came with the hairstyling set from what is it called winter fashion show I did a review of that I highly recommend it um I just put that mousse in and then I put them on a curler for like 20 minutes and then took them down and it was perfect so I love that hairstyling mousse. Like, it's magic. So, 
I was really happy to use it. And I also, like, during one of the restyles, I managed to give her hair horns using basically just the mousse, so that stuff is no joke. It works really quickly and well. And then I gave her Paris's tiara. This was the last second inclusion. I was like, wait. And it all came together. I was like, yes, yes, you're a princess. Exactly. She needed it. Um, So I gave her the Paris tiara. Sorry, I realized that. I didn't Look at that. She's a little princess. It's not really sitting on her head, right? I need to get a rubber band to kind of make it stick down a little bit more. Um, but look how cute. And then I brought Tiara over because I posted a picture <laughs> of the eye swap last night. And a bunch of people were saying, oh, that kind of looks like Tiara. No, they're different dolls. Now, it doesn't help that she accidentally has Tiara's skin tone because this is a factory batch error, I'm pretty sure, where she her head is the wrong color. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about that, okay? I don't think she looks like Tiara. I think they're both distinct and, like, I don't know. I like them a lot. And I really like Tessa without bangs. I think she looks really good. And I also very much think that Tessa should have had brown eyes. Look how cute she is. And I just prefer Tessa's face sculpt to Tiara's. If you guys know what face sculpt it is, please let me know. Because I'm just very curious. She just looks so cute. I love her. And she looks so wildly different from my other Tessa. Not only because of the eye swap and everything, but also, like the face. I, I feel like this variant is just very different. And I love both of them so much. They're so, so cool. Um, if I was daring enough and I had enough brown eyes, I would totally just give her brown eyes too. I just, <laughs> I don't like the blue and purple eyes. I need them to stop. I'm so sick of them. Um, they look good on some dolls, but, and they look fine on Tessa, but I don't know. I think she would look better with the brown eyes. And I tested that theory, and I agree with it. Oh, and I gave her a bunch of jewelry from P the Paris Hilton doll, and then she's wearing Ainsley's shoes, because I like those shoes. They're like combat boots. They're really cool. Um, and they go really well with the Uma pants. I love the Uma pants. And then I wanted to get the Shadow High Emblem off, and I still might, because this is not a removable belt, but you could cut it and then take it off. So I'm kind of tempted to do that, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Oh, and then... um. So this is now the second restyle that I've done with the exact same black turtleneck thing. I'm sorry, I just really like black turtlenecks. Um, but yeah, so my favorite turnout... Hmm. Let's see. They don't look the same. They don't look the same. Okay. I think my favorite overall... Hmm. Okay, I think the one that actually looks like a rainbow hide-all, like, that you could just go to the store and purchase is definitely her. I mean, duh. She's not very out there. And it's cool to see, like, a casual outfit on her because this is the most casual outfit that you can achieve. I mean, you could take off the jacket, I guess. But this is the most casual outfit that you can achieve with Sabrina normally. And I actually really love this outfit. I just need to restyle her hair, too, I think. I actually have, like, I accidentally have four Sabrinas, which you, if you watched my Black Friday videos, you know what happened. It wasn't really an accident. I'm just going to say it was an accident. <laughs> um, but I have four Sabrinas, so I have a lot of wiggle room. I really love this outfit, though. That's just what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, um, I think the one that I'm the most pleased by, like, the one that I'm the most excited about is probably Ainsley, because I've never... Oh, I forgot to say I repainted the lips. Look at that! I've... N oh my gosh, I just noticed she fell over. Ugh, that's annoying. Um, I have never, ever managed to repaint lips in a way that I didn't absolutely hate, because I, I've done it before on some Monster High dolls, but it looked awful awful. I hated it. It was like chunky and weird, but for some reason everything just came together today and I'm very, very happy about it. And they look so cute. I don't know. I think she looks really cool and it makes me excited to potentially do stuff like this again. I don't feel like she looks too much like a really crappy arts and crafts project from someone who doesn't know what they're doing, you know? Oh, look, wrapped ponytail. Wrapped ponytail. You see that? You see that? I've figured out how to do it. Um, I got a little bit too ambitious with Tessa, though. I think I need to, um, learn how to do those wrap ponytails that have, like, the longer wrap, because I wasn't doing those right. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think of these. Just remember that these are restyles for me. So, like, I just do them my way, and it's supposed to be fun. Anyway, that's it for this video for real this time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!